my crazy life. It's Lori and Luna. And we have a sponsored video for you today from Level 8 Luggage. They sent me a new um, travel size carry-on bag to try as well as a toiletry bag. And this is perfect timing because I want to show you some of the things that I pack when I do carry-on only. Now, I have a couple road trips this year planned, and then next year I have a, a big trip to Ireland, and I want to go carry-on only. I'm not sure if this will be the bag that I do carry-on only because um, I'm going on a couple... Okay, ma'am. Calm down. I am going on an airline inter between Dublin, Ireland, and England, and I don't, I think this might be too big to be considered carry-on. Um, I have to do some research. I have plenty of time for that. But this is the new piece of luggage they sent me from level eight, and I love it. Let's do a thumbnail. Um, the, the one thing also with this, it might be a little, prohibitive as far as carry-on only in Europe is they're very strict on weight and this bag empty I believe weighs 10 pounds so that's half of my <laughs> we're about ready to get some barking over here because I have Alex here's Alex and she does not like it when he gets in bed um so this base weight is 10 pounds for this specific luggage maybe a little more um but I also have the green one and I'm getting a backpack in the mail, not from level eight. So we'll see. Anyway, this is the carry-on. I can't remember what it's called. Ah, the Grace. It's extendable. So it fits all 15 inch laptops. It is checkpoint friendly. It is vertical opening, smooth and low noise wheels, which I can attest to. Excellent storage and extendable zipper. So we're going to go through some of the highlights here. Hi. Um, first things first. On the front, Luna, Luna, come back down, please. Thank you. On the front, which uh, I'm obsessed with this, guys. You have a compartment that opens, but it opens all the way. So you can lay it down and this whole thing opens up. In here, you have um, pockets, right? So let's do the front side first. We have a zipper here, <laughs> right? You can put a little bit of your carry-on items in here for easy access. These little pockets here are zippable. These hold it open so they don't go all the way flat or it can. Um, and here is the other ones. It does say it will hold up to a 15 inch laptop. I'm assuming you can hold an iPad, a laptop in here, all kinds of stuff. So this is your front pocket. But then, I mean the storage is amazing. It also opens in here and you have a whole other compartment. Let me see. This front part opens all the way down as well. And this will get you a whole lot of extra storage right here. Now, it is taking away or eating into your inside storage, but if it's something that you want to keep separate, like your dirty laundry or something, you can utilize this extra zip. Or if you want to use this luggage, for this half, you know, as a top, and you could put all kinds of stuff in there, which I love. So I will say if I was going to check this or strictly fly in the U.S., because the U.S. doesn't, most U.S. airlines, not like your Spirit or something like that, they don't weigh your bags. They just want to make sure that it will fit. Now, so that was just the front pocket. On the sides, this thing expands, right? So I'm opening this one zipper and I'll show you how much it'll expand. So if you go traveling, 
and you get a lot of extra stuff. What I've seen folks do is they open up the expander, put all their stuff in it, and then they zip it shut and use it as like a compression zipper. So you can open it all the way, get your two or three inches, right? Get everything in there tucked away. You can leave it open if you're checking it. But what I would do is use that zipper as a compression. And now I'm still back to the carry-on the carry-on width. And then on the inside or on the front, you do have a handle on the side. This is the TSA. And keep in mind, TSA is only in the U.S. But that is your TSA lock. Oops. I need to unlock it. Hold on. I can't see which direction. Oh, I was going the right way. Hmm. Please hold. Got it. I had one of the numbers turned. You can set your combination. The TSA can stick a key in here if they would like to open it. If not, it does stay locked right here. And I'll show you something else fun that this comes with. Because on the front, the two zippers that close that front compartment do not have a locking mechanism, but they did include this travel lock, which is fantastic. And it's also TX, TSA accepted. These are great if you're traveling anywhere. Let's say you're staying at a hostel or staying in a hotel or you've got something that you really want to protect. What you do is you put this, uh, where'd it go? Around your two zippers, right? So your two zippers meet and you just lock them. And now nobody's getting this bag open unless they know the combination or they're with TSA. And that's included in this bag. Also in here um, on this side, with the compression, you have this side here that opens up. This is on the back of the luggage. I love that it unzips so you can clean it down the inside, but it's very roomy. So, and it also has another compression over here. So you got two layers with lots of storage here. And then this side um, that does, this is the side that meets the front. So if you use that front pocket, you're gonna run out of some space over here because they do feed into each other. But you have also this whole side, which comes with your, I guess stickers, so you put your name on it, but you have this side as well. I mean, these are fantastic. And the only drawback that I have found with this luggage is that it is a little heavier than some of the other brands. Um, and again, if you don't have a weight restriction on your carry-on, then it's not a big deal. And this is also scratch resistant, and I love this color blue. So this is the new level eight Grace, and I know they have it in carry-on size and they also have the two larger now they also sent me this um this is the ever fun makeup bag oh i love it it's a very soft pink with some roses embroidered in it you have first of all a front pocket here for anything you need to store it's got a pretty thin profile which i like if i'm gonna do carry-on but I will tell you the thing I love the most about these types of bags is this, the hanging hook. It is a necessity if you are traveling overseas, especially because bathrooms, there's always not, there's not always a lot of counter space in the bathrooms. I've been to many hotels in England in Scotland and our bathroom counter was just the sink and a little tiny shelf and that was it. And not enough room for me let alone if I was traveling with somebody else. So this bag, it's all plastic. These little zippers here, perfect for makeup, little jewelries, little earrings, you know, anything tiny. I would say jewelry, especially in this one. And if you don't know the hack, if you feed your necklace through a straw and then close it, it'll keep it from tangling and you can fit a couple in here. And then in this compartment here, which I love the clear plastic because it's very washable. You, it opens up pretty deep. You have your, for your product and you just keep things separated, you know? So you have two pockets here and then you can just lay things in the bottom. 
And quite frankly, if I'm going carry on, I can also utilize this bottom one for my electronics. As long as I keep my liquids and zip bags inside of here um, or in here, now this is really for like makeup brushes and stuff, but I will use this for my electronics. Uh oh, I've got all three cats in bed with me. Here's Wellington, Luna's here, and Alex is over there. Um, yes, so when I take this with me, this may end up in like my backpack with my liquids and all my electronic stuff. And then down here, again, a small little compartment for makeup brushes, more jewelry. I mean, I just love kind of how streamlined it all is. And that you also have the hang up for it, to hang it on the towel hook. And then you don't have it all over the counter space. And when you need to, um, you know, get to your products, it's all just here. And quite frankly, I bet you a small iPad or Kindle would slide down in here. It's padded enough slip this in your backpack and you now have all of your liquids and your electronics in one container and i love that now speaking of i have i need to go through all of my beauty products and stuff for the year because some things get expired and like i said i'm trying to do carry on so for me um liquids are a premium right you don't want a ton of liquids so I was just looking at makeup or you don't want large amounts of makeup Liqu liquids um, so these are all my little travel size and tester sizes like this CeraVe ultra lightweight moisturizer I got these from my dermatologist and quite frankly two of these would be perfect for the in-flight for me and then some on my face Beauty products, you know, you don't need a whole ton. And this is just a couple little things with SPF. But look how tiny they are to fit in your, if you're in the U.S., I'm trying to find my one quart bag. I don't know where it is. Oh, excuse me. In the U.S., you're limited to a one quart size liquid, right? So I throw a couple moisturizers in there. They don't take up a lot of space. So these I grab when I go to my dermatologist on the regular because those are very important to me. Also, these little hand sanitizing wipes, or these are just little tiny gels, actually. Six individual little hand sanitizers. They take up zero space in here. You throw a couple in for an emergency, first aid kit, things like that. These are great. Uh, what is this? Niacinamide. Oh, I ordered from Sephora. A sample kit and I got this is a nourishing face mask and this is just some nice cinnamides but again this face mask is 0.67 ounces so you put that in there it doesn't take up much room at all and if it's a rub-in mask I'm totally gonna use it on the airplane I have to read it soul food nourishing mask i'm gonna have to read up on this one but these are just little trial sizes of all the things that you could need and quite frankly they're a week's worth this is nice cinnamide oil you'd use one or two droplets like that is plenty for a week of nighttime care for your skin right also this summer i grabbed this which is bum um, sunblock and I got 30 ounce of uh, sun I'm sorry 30 sunblock in a one ounce container I got some leave-in conditioner and a lip balm from this sun balm at CVS and this is perfect for me to take I have to wear all the sunblock all the time this is gonna be enough for an entire week and it smells delicious and it's made in Florida um, you know, I have these in here because it's what I travel with. Leave-in conditioner is perfect for my hair. Now, shampoos and conditioners are a hot, little hot topic because obviously I need shampoo and conditioner. If the hotel is going to have it, I may just pack conditioner. They're going to have shampoo, but I have to have a conditioner with me. So this is where I will say, okay, well, this is a little large. I wouldn't need this size, but this is what I'm going to say. Okay. I'm going to bring a 3.4 ounce size of conditioner, but I'm not going to bring shampoo, something like that. 
Um, same thing with my hair products. This is Moroccan Curl Cream. I can get smaller containers. I mean, this is pretty small. This is just two and a half ounce. But you can get these little like refillables. I showed these before. Hold on, where's my little ones? These little tiny containers, fill it up with your product. You know, I don't use a ton of this. There's only about half of this left. This will last me well over a week. You know, that's plenty, even though it's only a two and a half ounce container. And I have another one of these, so I need to stop buying travel stuff, which is another reason that I'm going through all my travel stuff. So this is a two and a half ounce, and this is two and a half ounce. Why? Why do I have two of them going? Questionable, but it's all going to get used. Same thing with, you know, like I got this wrist rusk shampoo conditioner. I've used these on multiple trips. So this packaging is a little big and it is two and a half ounce, but there is nowhere near that amount of, of product. So these are going on my next trip and I will use them up. And then if I want, I can refill them, right? You just pop that thing out and you can refill them. But also shampoo and conditioner, they're gonna have at your hotel. I got from my dermatologist, these this size little bottle. This is Itch Relief. I have a face wash in this size. It's perfect for the week. So you look around, but don't let everything, like here's my face wash. Don't let stuff go bad. I'm definitely gonna start utilizing this. Um, this is Dr. Scholl's. I got some sample somewhere, foot cream. Um, this I'm not sleeping on, but I am changing out some of the pot product in here. This is just a first aid kit. I typically keep this in my car in the summer when I'm bike riding just in case. Uh, but I will bring a, not this big, but I will bring a small first aid kit when I travel. Um, so I'm just saying when you're at the dermatologist, like I got these little aquaphors. This little tiny aquaphor will last me for lip, lip balm. And for my face, if I get dry, this will last a week. Like, don't think you have to bring a ton of stuff with you because you don't. So my goal right now, oh, and like, I grabbed the little eyeshadow. I'm not going to bring with me an entire palette. These are the colors I will use when I travel. So I have just this little tiny one in here. I think I got this at CVS, not expensive. Just some neutral colors. It's a little four palette perfect for makeup. I don't need to bring my big palette with me for a week. I will bring a little eyeshadow, a mascara, my eyebrows and lips, and maybe a little like corrector cream. And that's it. And sunblock. That's my whole entire makeup bag. So just keep in mind little things. The other deal, what is this? Oh, <laughs> these are little sample mascaras um, or lash oils. The other thing I got in a sample box are sample size perfumes. So from Sephora, you can ask for samples if they have them in different perfumes. And I took this O-U-A-I-W-E, -we, uh, way it's pronounced. I took it with me. Oh, I love it. I took it with me to England and I only used half. I mean, this is perfume. You know, it's not like Bath and Body Works where you have to saturate yourself. Uh, one spritz or two. Uh, one or two of these will last you an entire week. And that's, you know, if you throw that in your little bag with your liquids, that's literally it. So what I will do is put my liquids in here if I'm flying and put this inside of my makeup bag if I'm going to use that one for travel, for air travel, and then put my electronics and stuff in there with it as well. Anything that might spill though, if you're going to double pack, you need to make sure you have everything in a Ziploc baggie. So, and that's, you know, going to keep it from spilling. The other thing I take with me every time I travel is Dramamine and they come in these little tiny um, containers. This is the less drowsy so I bring a less drowsy and a regular because I take the regular on the airplane. I don't really tend to get car sick on the airplane, but I certainly do on buses and trains and taxis and stuff, but they kind of help me sleep on the airplane. So I take one. Also, um, this is Dr. Bronner's. You can use this for shampoo, body wash, dishwashing soap, laundry soap, all of it. I'm going to get a smaller bag for it. 
But here's how I put my liquids that I think could leak. I put them in its own little zip bag. And then I would put that in with my rest of my liquids. That's what I mean. I just get these little snack bags from the Dollar Tree. And then I would stick them in there. So if this decided it was going to leak, it's not going to leak over anything but that. And this Dr. Bronner's drops. That's all you need is drops. And this is peppermint. Um, I highly recommend, especially if you're going to be bringing your own coffee pot or your own coffee cups. Um, it's great at the end of the day to wash out your water bottles, wash your hair, wash your body, wash your clothes. It is Castile soap. It's all purpose. Um, also, like these little sample size of shampoo conditioners. This is a face mask. Oh, no, this is a hair mask. So if I was going to pamper myself at my hotel one night, I, I mean, this is nothing. Throw it in there and you're done. Throw it away. You don't have to bring it home. You can also keep these little containers. So this is a little container of Frosted Cranberry Body Butter. It's a very, mm, a very thick cream. When I'm done with this, I can wash this out. Put in some bum bum cream or something in here. Take a Sharpie to the top. Put up what it is and it will fit right down in here. So don't think you have to bring large supplies of everything. Even if I'm driving, I'm not bringing large supplies, including my poopery. It's a travel poopery. Also refillable. So I believe you can unscrew it or something and refill it. If you can't, that's okay too. Yeah, I don't think you can refill these. Um, but this is just a little tiny poopery. If I'm going to be sharing a room with somebody or whatever, you know, before you go. Also, little tiny deodorants. These are solid. They are not considered a liquid. You don't have to put that out. And then I use this got to be glued in my hair every day to keep my curls under control. And this is a 1.25 ounce. I've taken this on a couple trips. And it's fine. It's a little separated. I need to shake it up. You just have to mush it up, but yeah. So watch for these. I think I got this free as from a sample at CVS or Target or something, uh, but I love these and I use this size when I travel because the got to be glued pomade is big and I don't need that. I think this is the last one that I have. Oh, I also have some other CeraVe healing ointment. Dermatologist's office is a gold mine for these. These healing ointments, it's like Vaseline they go a long way. That will last me well more than my week and a half or whatever. And this stuff is great. At night, I put it on my face, like on my eyes and lips and mouth around here. I'm very dry. Wake up in the morning and it takes just a little tiny bit. Um, so yeah, that is everything I have. Oh, this was a Defense 50 sunblock. It came in a sample from that I got from Sephora. The sample box was like $10 and it came with all kinds of stuff. All right, guys, well, that is everything. I need to sift through all of my product. I need to take out anything that has, oh, I have two of these. Anything that has expired, I just need to get it out of here and refresh my travel bin for 2023. I keep this in my bathroom and I literally, when I'm packing to go, I just say, oh, I need hairspray, got it. I need my stuff, I need some body wash, you know, whatever. I grab it out of here, I pack it up, and I'm ready to go. All right, I hope you enjoyed, and this is a helpful video for you, and you have a chance to try some level eight luggage. There is a link in the description, description box below. All right, everybody, have a good one. Bye.